Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mann and Michael Siletti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 6.12 from the chapter number 6. The problem is draw the logic diagram of a 4-bit binary ripple counter. This is a 4-bit binary ripple counter. It will count in the reverse direction. That means if it is a 4-bit binary counter, that means it will count from 15, 14, 13 in this way up to 0. That means it can count 16 number of pulses that is 15 to 0 it will make the transition with the arrival of each pulses so in the first case the flip-flops that trigger on the positive edge of the clock and in the second case we have to trigger the flip-flops in the negative edge of the clock in our previous problem we were asked to design a positive edge trigger ripple counter okay here we have seen a 2-bit ripple counter we have used jk flip-flops with sorted inputs to make it a t flip-flop so the first case, the normal output was connected to the clock of the second stage. It is an asynchronous ripple counter and the inputs are connected to logic 1 or a high voltage. So here also what we will do, so this was a positive edge trigger flip-flop. In the first case, we are asked to design the 4-bit ripple counter, the 4-bit ripple binary countdown counter using positive edge of the clock. So in the first case of previous problem, we have seen that while designing the circuit, we got a down counter. That means it counts in the reverse direction 3, 2, 1, 0. But here in this case, the circuit will be similar, but here we'll have four flip flops because here we have to design a 4 bit binary countdown counter. So let us make a 4 bit binary ripple countdown counter. Let us draw the flip flops first. Suppose here we have a ZK flip flop. Okay, here we have another one. Here we have the third one. This is fourth one. So here we have four flip flops. Here we suppose J1, K1, J2, K2, J3, K3, J4, K4. For better understanding of this circuit, you can go through the previous problem that is 6.11. Previously, I have solved. You can go through the playlist at the end of this video. We will connect all the inputs to the logic one level. Okay, similar to the previous case, here we will have logic one. Okay. So this will be sorted, these two inputs will be sorted. Here also we will have sorted inputs J and K. Okay. So here also we will have J3, K3 sorted inputs and here we will have J4, K4. And in each flip flop we will have the clock inputs. So because it is an asynchronous binary ripple counter, so first flip-flop output will be connected to next clock input. So we can see that the first flip-flop, the normal output is connected to the next flip-flop clock input. So here also what we will do, the first flip-flop, this normal output, suppose Q1, Q1 complement. So this normal output is connected to the clock input of this second flip-flop. So this Q2 and Q2 complement. So this Q2 will be connected to the clock input of this next flip-flop. Because in the first case, we have to use positive edge trigger clock. Okay, so we need not to use any bubble here. And the first flip-flop will have the input pulses that we are going to count. So this third flip-flop output that is Q3 and Q3 complement. Okay. So here we have suppose Q1 complement, here we have Q2 complement, here we have Q3 complement. So here we have normal Q3 output. So this will be connected to the clock input of this fourth flip flop. And here we'll have Q4, Q4 complement. Similar to the previous cases, here we'll have this down counter. We have already seen the operation of this circuit. So here in this case, we'll have here Q4, Q3, Q2, Q1 and starting from 1, 1, 1, 1, it will decrement by 1 bit, 1 bit at a time. Okay, so it will work as a down counter. This is figure 6.12a. This is binary ripple countdown counter. So for the operation of this circuit, you can go through the previous problem. So this is part A. Now let us go to our part B. In part B, we will have to use the negative edge of the clock. So in the previous problem 6.11, we have seen that if we connect the complemented output of this first test to the clock input of this next test, it works as an up counter. Okay, because it is a 2-bit counter, it was counting from 0 to 3. So in the third part of the previous problem, we have seen that 
when we use negative edges of the clock to trigger the flip-flops, the operation of the circuit will be as follows. When we connect the normal output of one stage to the clock input of the next stage, the circuit will work as the up counter. Okay, that means in this previous case, we were getting the down counter. So if we use a negative edge clock, so it will work as a up counter. So here in this case, we got the up counter. If we use here a negative edge of the clock, that is if we put a bubble here, that will indicate the negative edge triggering of the flip-flops. It will work as a down counter. As given in this question, we have to design a countdown counter. So only the differences we have to use here a 4-bit counter. Okay, so here also we'll have four flip-flops. So this is suppose J1, K1, Q1, Q1 complement. Suppose this one is the second flip-flop. J2, K2. So here we'll have a clock input. So Q2, Q2 complement okay so here we have a third flip-flop this is z3 k3 clock and q3 q3 complement here we'll have a fourth stage because it is a four bit counter okay so here we'll have z4 k4 q4 Q4 complement. So similar to the previous cases, we'll sort all the inputs Z2, K, Z1, K1, then Z2, K2, then Z3, K3, Z4, K4, and we'll connect it to logic one. So this is the logic one line. So connect these inputs and sort them. Okay. Next we have to sort again these two inputs. Okay. Next we have here Z1, K1. So here we have logic 1 or a high voltage. So in the previous problem we have seen that when we connect the complemented output of the first flip-flop to the higher order that is the second stage clock input so it was working as an up counter. So here we used a positive edge of the clock. If we use negative edge of the clock it will work as a down counter. Suppose here we will have the pulse with a bubble that will have the input pulse. Input pulses that we are going to count and this complemented output of this first flip-flop will be connected with a bubble okay that is it is a negative edge triggered flip-flop okay so it will work as a down counter now again here we have to also connect so here use a bubble so similarly here also with a bubble you connect here to this clock input so this bubble here represents that it is a negative edge trigger so negative edge trigger means suppose if this is the pulse so this is positive edge positive edge if this positive edge triggers this flip-flop this is called as a positive edge trigger flip-flop then here we have this negative edge that means this from one level to the zero level if it is going down this is called as the negative edge negative edge if this flip-flop respond or if these flip-flops are activated on the negative edge of this clock then these are called as the negative edge triggered flip-flop so here we have used negative edge triggered flip-flop so we have to use here a bubble here so this is the circuit diagram of the 4-bit countdown counter using a negative edge of the clock because we have used here a bubble here so that means whenever there is a transition from 1 to 0 this circuit will respond and this will work as a countdown counter you can verify so let us verify so here we have suppose clock then we'll have q4 q3 q2 q1 this is the msp okay q4 then q3 q2 q1 suppose initially the flip-flops are reset that means clock there is no clock and all these outputs of these flip-flops are zero suppose initial we have this so with the arrival of the first clock pulse that is the negative edge of the clock what will happen this flip-flop will be activated so what will happen whatever be the previous output because it is a toggle flip-flop it will be in this output will be inverted okay so previously we had zero here this q1 okay so it will now become one now when it become 1 it will become 0 so when we have 0 here this flip flop will be activated and whatever be the output it will be 
inverted so previously q2 was 0 so now it will become 1 okay so next what we'll have we have q2 is equal to 1 here so it will become 0 again we have negative h trigger flip-flop so this flip-flop will be activated so this flip-flop whatever be the previous output it will be inverted so we'll have here 1 so similarly here we'll have 1 so this inverted output will be 0 so this flip-flop will be activated okay so now this q4 will be inverted so previous q4 was 0 so it will be now 1 1 1 1 1 that is nothing but 15 now let us assume that we have the second negative edge of the clock so if we have second negative edge this will be activated okay so what will happen whatever be the previous output it will be complemented so what will happen so here we'll have 1 turn to 0 next when we have 0 here if we have 0 here so this will be 1 this uh, inverted output will be 1 and we have a bubble here so this flip flop will be deactivated so whatever was the previous state it will remain in the previous state so it was previously 1 so it will remain in the 1 state now suppose we have the third input pulse third clock okay with the arrival of the third pulse what will happen so this circuit will be this flip flop will be activated it will have a transition okay that means it will be inverted because it is a t flip flop so whatever we have here zero it will be now toggled now q1 is one okay so q1 is one previously it was zero previously it was zero now it is becoming one okay so previously it was zero now it is becoming one so now when it becomes one previously this complementary output was one so it will become zero so when we have from 1 to 0 transition that is negative edge of the clock the circuit will be activated okay so what will happen this one will now be complemented so if it is 1 previously so it will now 0 that means previously it was 1 now it will now become 0 so previously it was 0 this complemented output now it become 1 so when we have this 0 to 1 transition that means we have a now positive edge to this flip flop so it will remain unchanged okay so whatever be the content of here so it will be remain unchanged so what will happen one to one means it is remaining in the same state okay here we have previously zero it will remain in the same state so here we do not have a negative transition so this flip-flop will remain in the same state so whatever be the previous content of q4 it will remain in the same state now with the arrival of the fourth clock pulse suppose here we have fourth clock pulse so here we, if we have fourth clock input here this previous output will change from 1 to 0 okay 1 to 0 so now we have q is equal to 0 okay so here we have a positive transition so what will happen there this circuit will not be activated because it is a negative edge trigger flip-flop here we have a 0 to 1 transition because we are getting a positive edge here this circuit this flip-flop will be off output will remain in the same state that means 0 will remain in the same state okay this 1 will remain in the same state 1 this 0 will remain in the same state okay so here we have no transition because it is the same level okay so this circuit will be deactivated whatever be the previous content it will remain in the same state that means it will become 1 and this will remain in the same state from 0 to 0 so there is no transition so this will be again deactivated okay so whatever be the previous content q3 will be remain in the same state and q4 also remain in the same state in this way you can verify that it is counting from 15 then 14 then this value is 13 okay and this value is 12 now if we give another clock fifth clock pulse what will happen whatever be the content of this register it will be inverted so now it will zero become one okay so this zero will become one here and whatever be the content of this inverted so here we'll have zero so here we have a one to zero transition you can see previously it was one this inverted output was one now it is transiting to zero so we have a negative edge so this circuit will be activated so whatever was the previous content zero it will be now inverted that is one so if it is one this will become zero one to zero transition and here we have a one to zero transition so this circuit will be activated so what will happen we will have inverted output so from one to zero there will be a transition so this zero becomes one so now this q3 is zero 
so q3 is 0 now and here we have a 0 to 1 transition that means it is a positive edge of the clock so what will happen this flip flop will not be activated so whatever be the previous content it will remain in the same state so this is nothing but 8 plus 2 plus 1 it is 11 so in this way it is down counting down counting so this is the operation of this second circuit so it is working as a down counter okay so this is the solution of the problem number 6.12 thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you